Now, you are not stepping an inch into this house. Go back to your husband's house. You want to stop me from entering my father's house? Oh, which is my husband's house? Cassie, what are you thinking about? What about your daughter? What will become of her? Eh? He didn't think of her. He didn't think of our daughter when he went about sleeping around. Oh, he went about sleeping around. It is because of your nagging attitude that forced him to do Mom. so. Oh, don't mommy. me. Don't me. Don't mommy. me. Yes, if you had given him peace of mind in his own house, he wouldn't have gone outside there to seek for it. So I should be at fault. When it's obvious he's the one cheating. For goodness sakes, mommy, I found condom in his pocket. You found condom in his pocket. What about other women? Who find their husbands on top of another woman? Yet, they do not bring down the roof. Mom, you know that's not possible. There is no way a woman will find her husband on top of another woman and not raise the roof. I did. I did! Not once, not twice, did I find your father on top of another woman. In as much as I wanted to react badly, I thought about you. The world will become of you if I should leave this marriage. Your future makes so much to me than a broken home. I had to stand my ground to fight for my marriage. That is why my daughter, you never experienced a broken home. I want you to go back to your husband's house and fight for your marriage. Mom, you went through all of this and I'm not even aware of it. Because that fight is not a fight to be announced. Your victory will do the announcement. I want you to go back to your husband's house before he finds out that you are gone. For you not to regret anything. Go back there and fight for your marriage, my daughter. It's fine, mommy. I'm here already. Let me just chill. When the sun is down, I can leave. I said you cannot step an inch into this house. Go back to your husband's house. I'll give you a call later, okay? Mom. Bye.